Hello, I'm Andrew Herford from Herford Hardwood. We're an integrated forest and timber business operating in northern New South Wales. Today we're at Warrazamba, one of the one of our beautiful properties where we manage private native forests for the production of timber. Herford's is a real family business. It was started by my grandparents. Um, their children joined the business. That was my father, my aunt and uncle. Uh, and then through the years, my generation, all, all the kids have worked in the business. Today we have also out the next generation, my kids and my nephews and nieces are getting involved in different aspects of the business. Herfords employ just over 300 people in a broad range of roles. Starting in the forests, we have professional foresters to assist managing our forests and assist other private native forest owners to, to manage their forests for a good outcome. After the timber comes to the mill, obviously we have specialty people in manufacturing and milling and maintenance and all of those roles to do with manufacturing. And then we have our sales and distribution and marketing team that, that bring the product to market through our distribution channels. So how we see private native forestry is the sustainable management of forests, maintaining all of the values of the forest, the, the biodiversity and the, the animals that live there and, and the beauty of the forest, but also managing it to produce a valuable resource. Private native forestry is um, managed through an approvals process, which comes through local land services and private native forestry officers like myself. Um, so we do a series of due diligence uh, checks and measures, uh, make sure we have the most up-to-date information to pass on to the landholder and any contractors or parties that might be involved in the harvesting of a native forest. Um, this ensures you know, the long-term sustainability of any forestry activity um, within private property in, in New South Wales. For Hereford Hardwood, private native forestry makes a critical part of our, of our business. It, it allows us to source the timber we need for the orders we have when we need them. Private native forestry can be really important for both landholders and the timber industry. For the industry, it forms a, a, a unique part of their supply and they need that relationship with the private native forest owners to be able to continue to supply products on a consistent basis to their customers. In having a knowledge of those properties and our own properties, we're able to work across a range of the landscape depending on the time of the year and weather situations and the species that are likely to grow in those places. So that can be important when we're trying to fill an order for a customer with a particular end use. The species we are able to get from private native forests on the north coast are black butt, spotted gum, iron bark, Sydney blue gum and tallowood um, among a, a 20 others but they, they're the most iconic species, the best known. They're, they're really durable, uh, they're, they're long lasting. We saw the logs into boards and then the boards go to our value adding plants uh, like the one at Tuncester and that's where we kiln dry the timber to make it stable, profile it into its end use, whether that's going to be flooring, decking, cladding, joinery, one of the other many products we produce. The private native forestry plays a key role um, in New South Wales' timber industry. Um, approximately 50% of um, New South Wales hardwood um, timber comes from private property, so it's really important that there's that sustainable long-term outlook um, when it comes to managing the forests themselves. Um, and this only you know, really flows on to um, long-term stable employment um, for people within you know, regional towns um, in New South Wales. Private native forestry um, plays a key role in um, providing an extra revenue stream um, for the landholder or the farming operation. Um, this can be used to offset you know, those problem times where there might be drought um, affecting the operations, the daily running of the farm, um, or there's just the simple use of you know, using the timber off the land um, to redo fencing, um, stockyards, um, things like that. So it plays a key role in that respect. Private native forestry and the timber industry more broadly is recognised as one of the key industries here in New South Wales and particularly on the north coast. Uh, it's recognised for its jobs that it provides in regional towns. To produce timber requires a, a big support network. We need engineering supplies, we need fuel, we need tyres for our trucks, we have contractors doing the harvesting work, we have contractors doing forest maintenance and farm maintenance work, we have our own employees processing the timber, we have trucks delivering products, so it's, it's wide reaching um, and it supports a, a whole uh, ecosystem of its own. 
Herefords employ specialist foresters because it's such a critical part of our supply and we want to get the management of forests right and we want to make sure that the forests that we're involved with, uh, whether they're our own or whether that we're working with a third party or a, a, a farmer, we want to assist them to get the best outcome on their property. What do you think of that tree up there, Jim? Yeah, that blue gun there, Andrew. Yep. Yeah, look, it's got some dead branches up there. Yep. A good candidate for a habitat tree. As a forester here with Herefords on the north coast, I help farmers obtain their private native forest plan through the local land services. The main role there is to determine which areas the farmers want to harvest, and then one of my other roles is to help them do the harvesting as per the code. Foresters like Jim Rankin here on the north coast um, play a key role in, I guess, complementing um, support offered by um, private native forestry officers within local land services and also maintaining those values that are key um, to upholding the codes of practice across the state. Um, this ensures the long-term viability of our forests um, and the products within them and the biodiversity values. So Herefords worked with local land services when we, when we need advice on private native forestry, on any clarification around the code or how to proceed. They're very helpful with property owners and giving them advice. We've found that their advice is reliable. Uh, we've got local field officers such as Hugh Cherry in this local area. They've got a wealth of experience and they're well worth talking to. If you have any questions regarding private native forestry um, or any other land management um, activities, don't hesitate to get in touch with your local land services office or come down and see some of our qualified staff um, who can help you through the processes of achieving your goals for your property.